Hi guys, so we're going to play a little game now. It's called Rouge Noir. It's a very interesting game. It's a non-Euclidean game. It's experimental in nature, but uh, really all games are experimental if you think about it. Because that's what play is. You take something and you see what you can do with it. And uh, usually it's fun stuff because it's uh, fun to do things that you're not really supposed to. Um, now, what does non-Euclidean mean? Non-Euclidean means, uh, so, you know, we've got our sponsor, uh, GeForce uh, NVIDIA, uh, on the side. It means that you have objects that do not respect the normal laws of physics. You see? Uh, about two and a half thousand years ago, a gentleman called Euclid, because, of course, men... Um, wrote a book about geometry. It was one of the first books on geometry. Um, and uh, he described triangles, squares, circles. What are these physical objects? Now, non-Euclidean geometry is geometry that does not exist and cannot exist in the real world. And it defies our, you know, standard knowledge of how uh, physics works and operates. It's also really pretty. Look, look at this tessellation. Isn't that so nice? Ooh. And, uh... Yeah, so let's... So as you, as you can see, look, if I go here... Suddenly the things are gone. Because... It's a non-Euclidean game. And um, you end up with what are impossible objects. I mean, of course, video games usually consist of things that are impossible because, uh, like, you know, we, we enter the game world to, uh, to escape oftentimes. Do excuse my platforming skills. They will improve one day. It's, it's really terrible. I do all of these Let's Plays, and yet I cannot platform for the life of me, be it 3D or even 2D. Um, I have a feeling that it's due to operating on a keyboard. I hope I don't fall. I'll be very annoyed if I do fall. Ah, excellent. Let's go in. Ooh. Interesting. Was this present before? Yep. So I'll come out there. Because the thing is, you might think, oh, this is just like Portal, but it's not like Portal, because Portal actually respects Euclidean physics. You just have, you know, a door that goes into another one, like wormholes in a way. Um, okay, that's like some, something else, but you get what, you get what I mean. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Where will this lead, I wonder? Nowhere, obviously. <gasps> Look! This is different. Ooh. Pretty. It's supposed to feel stuff because it's art, you know. But this does feel a lot like an art museum. You know, you often walk into these spaces and it's like... What's going on, man? What's in here, I wonder? Oh. Interesting. What's behind here? Confusion. Oh, wow. Oh, where'd this come from? What? Hmm, curious. What am I supposed to do, I wonder? 
wonder what happens if I walk to this. Does this change? Okay. All right. Um, platform appear. Oh, <laughs> fail. Wonder if it's. Oh, yeah, there you go. And again. Not quite. And again. No. Okay, so I have to keep jumping and jumping and jumping until I, I get to somewhere. Why do I hate platforming? Uh, again? Nope. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'll do it that way. So I've worked out the route now. Okay, so until, like, just before the wall you turn left. Now this one. Okay. And again. No! I'm so bad. <laughs> And again, and again, almost. Ha! -ha! And again, oopsie doodles. Three D platforming is not my friend. I want to get to the room! I want to get to the other end of the room! Okay. okay. Finally! We made it! We did it, guys! At last! At last! Okay, that makes me happy. I'm... I'm glad... Oh, uh, no! Oh, bugger. I don't like this. That he don't like. Okay. Okay. I don't want platforms appearing and disappearing. I don't want to fall to the bottom and... and have to jump. I'm gonna jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up, and get down. Okay, almost. Yes. Ha. He. <laughs> yes, we did it, guys. What's that? I wonder. I'm not going to bother finding out because, uh, because no. I love the bold colors. Why is it raining? I suppose he had to have some sound. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's one of these. Mazes. It's a maze. Amazing. <laughs> okay, that's not the way to go. We have to go this way. Okay, brilliant. Nope. Haha. -ha. Is this the way out? Maybe. This looks like a logo of a company. I can't place my finger on it. What's through here, I wonder? Ooh. 
think from Let me guess these lead into each other. Come out. Yep. Oh. Not quite. This is a little bit reminiscent of two. Excellent. Of uh, that game. A Stanley Parable. Okay, I guess I have to go through here again. Oh. Whoa. What? All those were in the wall. That's what a lack of shading will do to you. Okay, three. Can we make it a four? Nope. I think I have to go this way now. Oh. oh if. <laughs> I love it. Instead of making a V, he just took two, uh, two things. That's ex that's excellent. That's amazing. Are we gonna get out the room eventually? No, not quite. Yes. Ready. Can I jump in? Nope. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like those cool toys you had. You know, it's, at some point there were these toys which gave like an illusion of, of depth. That's so cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh, ooh, uh, uh, oh! What is this Alice in Wonderland? Uh, everything's getting smaller and smaller. And we're back at the beginning. Beautiful. Let's enter the woods. Can I pick this up? No. You can't really interact with much. It's what uh, some people might have called a few years ago a walking sim. Whee! Uh, only one way. Go this way. So I can't go in that way. And can I go in behind here? What? Whoa! Let's do that again. Cool. Really cool. Oh, no, I closed that. Open. No! One click to open. So that's the rain. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, also pretty. Yeah. Ooh. That's really cool. Oh, this is a puzzle. By puzzle, it's... <laughs> you press the button. Look at that. Incredible. Alright, you guys should check it out. Rouge Noir. I'll include the, the link in uh, the description below. Um, I hope that the creator makes more things like this. You know. Making us wonder about the geometry of things. Okay, thanks for watching.